We've already seen how we can change default manual time in setup. We can also assign a fader that will allow us to easily change our manual time on the fly. Let's go build one. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my fifth fader. And up here where it says unmapped, I can click on that and it's going to allow me to pick a target to map to that fader. So in there, I'm gonna go ahead and select manual time and I'm gonna click off of that dialog. And I have the ability by clicking on my fader to configure what the top and the bottom of my fader are set at for their min and max values. And this is time in seconds. These are pretty good defaults for now, so I'm just gonna click off of there. So I'm gonna go back out into live, and I would like to go ahead and say one at full enter. Because my manual time is set to zero, that means that that change comes on a stage in zero seconds or instantaneous. And while that may be great for a tech process, if I'm doing live music, that's a pretty abrupt change. So what I can do is set my manual timing fader up to five seconds, and now by saying to at full enter, that channel is going to take five seconds to get to the top. A manual timing fader is great to work with non-intensity parameters as well. So I'm gonna say snapshot four to get my direct selects back up on my screen. And I'm gonna grab all my psychs and put them at red. And you can see they're going to do that in five seconds because my manual timing fader is set to the top. Again, your manual timing fader is a fader. So if I pull it down about halfway, you can see I can get to 2.5 seconds. Hitting orange will take 2.5 seconds to make that change. And again, if I want them to happen instantaneously, I can take it all the way down, I'll hit yellow, and the change happens immediately.